Welcome to Hachiko Universe. I'm Yumi. I talk about Hachiko, dogs, and stars on my channel. Today I'd like to talk about Hachiko's trails. I hope you enjoy. This is a map of Shibuya. Professor Ueno's house is located about six minutes from the station on the top of the Bunkamura Street slope. This is a famous route that many people saw the professor and Hachiko walk side by side. The red line shows Trail 1. Trail 2 is the route between Professor Ueno's house and the University of Tokyo Komaba campus. The pink line shows the route. When Professor Ueno taught at the campus, they took this route. Hachiko often waited at the campus for Professor Ueno to finish classes and they would walk home together. It is in a quiet residential area with many small roads and there is no single exact route. According to my mother who used to live there, there were many western-style houses. Nabeshima Park, which was the neighbor's favorite walking trail, still remains the same. Trail 3 is the route between the gardener Mr. Kikusaburo Kobayashi's house in Tomigaya and Shibuya Station. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Kikusaburo was Professor Ueno's gardener and took good care of Hachiko when Professor was still alive. I will explain the reason why Hachiko ended up living at Kikusaburo's house. Here is a map of Setagaya, Shibuya's neighboring world. Professor Ueno and Yaeko, Mrs. Ueno as everyone called her, lived together but were not married. They couldn't get married because of family opposition. When Professor Ueno died unexpectedly, Yaeko had to leave the house as she had no legal rights to inherit the property. Professor Ueno's students, who admired the professor as their own father, decided to help her. They collected money and bought a house for her in Setagaya. Yaeko taught tea ceremony at the house and lived with Hachiko. However, Hachiko insisted to leave the house and went back to Shibuya Station. The green line shows the route. I can't find her house the exact location, but it was somewhere in the red circled area. From there to Shibuya Station is about 7 kilometers. When Yaiko saw that Hachiko missed Shibuya so much, she asked the gardener Kikusaburo if he could keep Hachiko at his house in Shibuya. He agreed, and after that, Hachiko lived at the Kikusaburo's house. From there, Hachiko continued the routine of going to Shibuya Station in the morning, coming home, then going back to Shibuya Station in the evening, and finally home again. Yaeko loved Hachiko and always cared for him until he passed away. Hachiko was so happy when Yaeko visited Kikusaburo's house or Shibuya Station to see him. Some people said that Yaeko didn't care about Hachiko, which wasn't true at all. She loved him and she was like Hachiko's mother until the end. Here are some old pictures of the area back in the 1930s. Many of them were taken by my grandfather. Here are current pictures of places in the Hachiko trails. The Shibuya station area has changed drastically. However, Hachiko's unconditional love stays alive in so many people's hearts. Thank you very much for watching.